introducing one of the best trading view indicators for scalping the one minute the five minutes and even the 15 minutes time frame this indicator is so powerful that it can give you up to 96.8 percent win rate when it comes to predicting the market movement and that is exactly what i'm going to walk you step by step on how to set up in this video and the most beautiful aspect of it is that even if you're a beginner after seeing this video to the end you should be able to implement this strategy okay you should be able to implement this scalping strategy and start being profitable in your trade whether you want to scalp the one minute the five minutes or even the 15 minutes time frame so with that being said if you are new to the channel if you love videos about trading about crypto and investing then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel okay so to show you what is possible let's say we got a buy signal here okay just as you can see here we got a buy signal here the next thing we need to do is to bring in our long position two and then we'll enter this trade and as usual okay if you have been following my channel you always make uh, make sure that um when scalping okay you don't want to be greedy you want to always put your risk reward ratio to 1.5 okay so make sure that your risk reward ratio is always at 1.5 all right so if our entry level is somewhere around there we want to target okay we want to target the risk reward ratio to be 1.5 so if i bring this up here you see that this would have been in profit okay this is in profit all right this would have hit our target all right within few minutes okay and then the same thing happens whenever you get a sell signal all right when you get a sell signal you want to bring in your short position two okay and then enter the trade so once you enter the trade you want to equally target the risk reward ratio to be 1.5 so bring in your short position two here that should be your entry and then you always target 1.5 and this would have been another winning trade now what happened here is that this actually hit our target and then the market continued to go down so in this case what I advise you you do is adjust your stop loss level to your entry level okay you can adjust this is let's say this is where you set up your stop loss so you can adjust your stop loss level to the entry level and then adjust your take profit okay to continue to follow the market trend all right so then when the market moved to a certain level all right as you can see here because this market continued to move until we got down somewhere around here all right as the market continues to move in your favor another thing you can do is to adjust your entry level okay to the previous your stop loss level okay adjust pardon me for that adjust your stop loss level which is now at the entry level to the previous take profit level so even if this reverses back and hit your stop loss okay even if it reverses back and hit your stop loss you'll still be in profit so that way you can follow the market until you get tired of the trend all right then when you get another buy signal the same thing happens you can bring in you know your long position too and this would have equally hit our target to prove that to you if i come in here let's say this is our entry and then our risk reward ratio will always be 1.5 so even if i've put this at 1.8 this would have equally hit our target all right and then another sell signal here okay another sell signal we get another buy signal and it goes on that way and on all right so what i'm going to do right now is to show you the setup process how to set up these indicators okay and then how you can start taking trades with them and always make sure that you are profitable with this indicator i've back tested this okay and that is why i'm sharing with you so you can equally go ahead and backtest this, all right, and see how it works. You can backtest this on a demo account, and then when it works out very well for you, you can then implement that on a live account. So before we proceed with the setup, okay, of these indicators and this scalping strategy, I have links to the most of the popular exchanges, okay, where you can trade on, you know, you can trade features and the rest. And if you want to trade with zero fee, you want to trade features and perpetual contract with zero fee you want to trade spot with zero fee you can try out the gate.is exchange because they currently offer that okay for free so you can trade there with zero fee without paying any fee all right so with that being said let's go into it so let me just go ahead and clear my chart all right so let me just remove all of these indicators and then we go back to the candle chart all right 
so this is what your chart looks like whenever you set them up okay whenever you come to trading view so what one thing we want to do now is to customize the chart to suit the trading strategy that we want to use to always cap the market so one thing i need to do here is first i want to change the candles okay i want to change this chart from the normal candlesticks okay to the high energy candlesticks so you go ahead and check that on all right so once we change it from the you know normal candlesticks to the Hekanashi candlesticks, the next thing is to add indicators. And we're going to use just two indicators, and these indicators are free to use on the TradingView um, account. So it means that with the free TradingView account, you can have these indicators and start profiting from the market. All right, if you don't have an account with TradingView, you can use the link in the video description to get one for yourself. So if I come in here to indicator, I want to go ahead and type in the Chandalia exit, okay? So this is the indicator we are going to use Chandalia exit. You can toggle the favorite icon to add it up to your favorite. And this is by the Evergate. Okay. So this, this is the indicator you are going to use the first indicator. So I'll go ahead and click that and then add it up to the chart. Now, after adding this to the chart, the next thing I want to do is to set up this indicator. So I'll hover over the indicator and click on settings. All right. Once I click on settings, I want to uncheck all of this. Okay and leave only the buy and sell signals so make sure you uncheck all of this and leave only the buy and sell signals after unchecking all of this the next thing is to come back to the input once you come in here to the input the atr period changes to one all right and then the atr multiplier you changes to two okay so once it changes to two the last setting i want to do here is to come back to the style here all right for the buy label i want it to be below okay below the bar i see it brings this closer to you know the candlesticks and then for the sell label i want to be i want it to be above the bar okay so it brings them closer to the market to the um the candles so after that you go ahead and click on okay then the next indicator that i want to add okay which is the last indicator is just to come in here and type in zero lag all right so we'll go ahead and type in zero lag all right so you see this indicator okay this zero lag um sma okay lsma this is the one you want to use by very fit this is the one you are going to use so you can equally toggle this to add it up to you know your favorite so i'll go ahead and add up that indicator to the chart all right so you see this is the indicator and then we'll go ahead and equally customize this so we'll go to the settings of this indicator and then i want this to the, the thickness is too much so i want to reduce it okay and then come back to the input and make the length to be 50. so go ahead and type in 50 here and once you do that you go ahead and click on ok all right so this is all the setup that we need for these indicators and this is all we need all right and then the next thing you want to choose your time frame currently i am on the one minute time frame so you can use this on the one minute time frame you can use it on the five minutes time frame you can use it on the 15 minutes time frame all right so with this setup all right remember we are scalping the market so whether it is on the one minute on the five minutes or 15 minutes time frame you want to always um you know make the little you can make and exit the market you, you don't want to be greedy okay so what we can do here is that the way you use this indicator is very simple the way you use indicator number one is you want to take the sell signals whenever these candlesticks are below this zero lag indicator okay the zero lag indicator once the candle the sell signal appears and then the candlesticks are trading below the zero lag indicator will go ahead and take a sell signal okay so this is a valid signal we would have taken this and then we would have write the market and would have been profitable with that okay and then for the buy signals okay you want to only take the buy signals whenever the candlesticks are trading above the zero lag indicator okay this is the basic way you use this indicator to be profitable all right so um whenever this you see a buy signal and the candlesticks are trading above the zero lag indicator you want to go ahead and you know take that trade and the target okay for your risk reward ratio always make it 1.5 you can go um, more than that but always make sure that you adjust your stop loss level and your take profit level whenever 
you are following the trend okay so as always you want to always take the signal okay you want to always take any of the signals okay whenever you see a buy signal the candlesticks must be trading above the zero lag indicator and then you go ahead and take the buy signal and for the sell signal the candlesticks should be trading below the zero lag indicator the same thing happens okay so this would have been a valid trade and this would have given you you know um the percentage okay if you are if your risk reward ratio is always 1.5 this would have been a winning trade this is equally a valid signal and this would have given you okay that 1.5 risk reward ratio this is equally a valid signal okay and this would have equally given you that um trade okay for um trades like this okay when this uh, appeared okay now when this appeared you want to make sure that you monitor it okay until when they start trading above the line above the zero lag indicator and then you can go ahead and take a trade so one last tip i want to give you is how to set up a lot because you will not need to monitor this indicator um the chart forever okay so you need to set up a lot and the alert we are going to set up will be on the chandelier exit so i'll go ahead and hover over the chandelier exit and then go to this three dots here click on it and you want to click on add a lot on the ce okay so once you click on add a lot you come in here and add a buy a lot so you can add a buy a lot and then use the once per bar close okay this is the one i use so once per bar close this is the one you're going to use and then the notification you will get in you notified on the trading view app all right you get notified on the pop-up here if your system is still open and then you get notified on email as well all right so after that you see that it says chandelier you can type anything here okay and name it whatever you want and click on create alert after you do this the next thing is to create a sell alert so come back here again and add alert so you come back here and change it to you know um a sell alert so once you click on a sell alert you want to make it one per bar all right and then go ahead and click on alert this way um trading view will notify you whenever there is a buy or a sell signal and then you can come in and take your trade okay set your take profit levels your you know stop losses and then go about your business and if that trade wins you come back again and look for another opportunity i hope this video is helpful okay if you do gain value from the video give him give, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment in the video description leave a comment if you love trading okay tell me you love trading in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video